Right then, guys. I've had a little discovery on the Allegro. Now, I did my little walk around video recently and I didn't even notice, but I just thought that the one light on the dashboard in the left hand corner, I just presumed that that was the ignition light. Um, well, it is one of the ignition lights. It's the oil light that's meant to come on and then go off once the engine started. But my friend noticed, and a big thanks to Richard Robbins from the P6 Club, he noticed my ignition light wasn't coming on, my actual red ignition light. So he was concerned that my alternator wasn't charging the battery because of this bulb not coming on. So I got my voltmeter today, and bear in mind that the car has been starting absolutely fine because I not long ha had a new battery. Uh, it's been starting fine. I've been driving it for shopping. No problem at all. But put the voltmeter on today, and it's not charging. <laughs> it's not charging. So I've ripped the dash out. Well, I say ripped the dash out. I've took the pods out, or popped the pods out, and I found the little bulb for the ignition light was blown now i haven't put it in yet just about to do that so i'll cut it and i'll cut back into when i've got it in and we can see if it's actually charging but that was a pain to get out it was just really awkward i had to force it so I don't know, i'm going to put i'm turning around and put the torch on so you can see what or where this bulb goes and and how to get out right torch on so i got the first thing to do to get this dash pod out is, is pull this binnacle off now i was a bit wary about doing that but it does just pull off so i just grabbed hold of it and sort of pull because it's got four clips one in each corner and you just have to yank it off basically it's a bit savage but you don't need any tools you just do it by hand and then obviously you can see the bulbs in there, apart from that one, because that's in my lap. And then if you, what you, well, one thing you've got to do as well is under the bonnet, oh, I better get out and show you. I'm going to be quiet because there's people talking outside, man. I'll show you. There's a clip that holds that speedo on. on there. Just loosen that off so we can pull the, the speedo cable. You know, so give it a bit of slack. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that loosened off under the bonnet, you can then pull this. Well, what? There's four screws. That you undo and then you can pull this forwards if it doesn't come forward you might notice these little clips that go in these oh, that go in these holes they might get in the way so you might want to ping those off pull this forward just enough so you can get your hand in there and if you can see there's a dead fly that's disgusting <laughs> i'm so sorry you had to see that i don't know why i zoomed in so I never realised I have got a little circuit board behind here. I, I've never had this out before. Never looked. But the little the little bulbs are in little holders. Hang on. So these connections just sort of touch. And they touch the circuit board. And put it out a bit so you can see. Come on, don't focus on the dead fly. So these little connectors connect to the bowl. And there's the other bulb holder in there. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I mean, really, I should probably have disconnected the speedo and taken it out. But all I wanted to do was change that bulb. Right, I'm going to put the bulb in now and I'll cut back to you in a bit. Okay, so bulb is back in. 
Ah, you can't really see. It's rubbish. But it's in there. <laughs> so now when I put the ignition on, I have two lights. I mean, I don't know how long I've been going along with just one light coming, the oil light. Can't believe it. <laughs> so once you start the car, ta-da, they go out. Which is good. You want them to go out when the car's running. And now, when you look at the voltmeter, thank God for that. Hello. So I felt a little bit rude earlier. I ended the video and I didn't actually say goodbye. Um, so I'm in the Allegro. It's all back together. Battery's charging, thank goodness. Um, so I've taken it out to charge the battery to Aldi. Uh, I'm going to get my weekly shop, get me stuffing for lunch for work. Um, and yes, everything's okay thanks to that little bulb being changed. So that is one to watch out for. Uh, apologies again that I filmed this on my phone in the vertical position, so it looks a bit rubbish on um, YouTube, it's not full screen. Uh, I need to learn to turn the phone that way around. <laughs> That's probably messed everything up now. <laughs> so uh, yes, thanks for watching, hope it helps somebody out there.